there's something about this art stuff. I think it, it's going to enliven people. They're going to they're going to feel empowered by all this art. art. Yes, I mean, I think, therefore, I art, right? Right, absolutely. We really need to get into the meaning of art before you, before you wrap the show. I think, I think people have been wondering about what art is for a long time, and we're going to try to figure that out tonight. It's got to get dark first. Is there a full moon enough? It's not full moon, but it's big enough. The weirdos come out down in Alabama on a half moon. <laughs> I'm rolling. I was I was going to show you this special for a minute, and you may come play with it, and then I don't mind at all. <laughs> it's, I was going to catch the moon coming. Where's the moon? I thought I'd really erase this thing. Don't do it. Uh oh, Matt's going to make a joke. <laughs> he could get us in deep, serious trouble here now. Especially in New York. You're right. New York City. Look at this. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Now, go. now. Ooh. So you got the uh, digital stabilization? On? Right. <laughs> I've always done that to myself. Now it tells you. <laughs> if I laugh too hard, there's You'll pee on yourself. Nate, do you want to wear the headphones? No. Am I rolling? Yeah. We're back. All right. Tell me more about Elvis. Man, it's a sad story. I mean, you know, we all loved Elvis. Elvis is an icon. He's a, he was a southern gentleman. It was terrible the way he went. Everybody making jokes about him. Dying on the bowl. It's not funny. Sorry, sorry. He was so constipated. It killed him. Oh, Jesus. That's the truth. How do you know that? That's the truth. I don't know. I just feel it in my bones. It... You take a lot of narcotics, and next thing you know, you you ain't grooving. It ain't flowing. Right? It ain't flowing. Hey, let me ask you a question. You been to Graceland? I have been to Graceland. Tell me about it. Graceland is, is pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. It's, it's not much bigger than, than Cave Art Studios. Now, the Jungle Room is pretty happening. Well, you got, it's still got furniture in it? Yeah. yeah. The tapestry room. It's got his room where he... Listen to music, mainly gospel groups, is what Elvis listened to. Really? Would you would you live at Grace Lane yourself? I mean, is it kind of place you could live in? Uh, yeah, I think you could have a good time there. Really? And, was there a music room? Uh, with, you know, he people? had a music room. It had a piano and a guitar, and then it had the infamous TV room. And uh, is he buried there? He is buried there. He's buried out by the. Uh, fishing pond or the little pond that they have out there. I mean, you went to his grave? Yeah. Why? Because it was on the tour. I mean, you went on a tour to see Elvis? I did. By yourself or with a No, it was, with the, it was with the rock band Bud Green. No. Yes. You we, were in Bud Green? Yes. Holy cow. What year was that? I was like, we went there like 90. Really? And, uh, you know, we smoked a big one. Wait, and then we you can't went. say that. This is, this is. Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Well, we did. That's the truth. We smoked a big one and went on the tour. It, it seems like to me all roads lead to Elvis or Graceland or something like that, right? You agree with that? Well, the problem is the road to Memphis sucks. No, wait a minute. She said all roads. Do you think all roads lead to Elvis? Be honest. I think all roads lead right past Elvis. That's existential, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting there. So let me, I think we need to clarify something. We were talking about drinking earlier. Uh huh. What do Southerners like us drink? We drink a lot of beer. Yeah? A lot of Jack Daniels. What kind of beer we drink? Sissy beer. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Like Bush Light, Michelob Light, you know, natural light, out. cheap beer. All right, another thing. But we're not supposed to admit it because you know what happens if we admit it? What? We'll go to hell. With Elvis. <laughs> That's what happens to Baptists if they drink, you know. No, tell, tell us about barbecue. Is, it, is, is barbecue for real? People eat that stuff? Man, we eat a lot of smoked meats down here. A lot of pork. What, what motivates us to eat smoked meat as, a, as opposed to, you know, grilled meat? The smell. The smell. 
We like the smell of burning flesh. 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 Yes, okay. it reminds us of the old days. <laughs> oh, gee. I mean, there's some things you ain't supposed to reveal. Man. The good old days. <laughs> Shh, don't talk about it. That's right. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. That's right. I don't, let me ask you another question. And Paula, how about you get in here? Okay. We were talking about southern accents, and they seem to be on the way out. You agree? Yes, I do. What do you think's happening? I mean, what's with the southern accent disappearing? Well, I think it's because, you know, now we got cable TV and. Like Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Yeah, you know, we're. And, and not only that, but you watch TV and you get somebody on a commercial that's southern and they go, it works fast, which means you don't want to say fast. <laughs> you want to go around going fast. Fast. Well, because really you don't want to sound like Richard Petty. And you don't want to sound like Teddy Gordon. You don't want to sound like a stock car racer. Well, stock car racing is the number one sport in America. So you would think you do want to sound like a stock car racer. Well, unless it's, you know, they always have the hard A's is what we call it. You know, fast. Fast. Yeah. 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 Fast. You're from the South. Yes, but I, I have made a conscious decision to keep my Southern accent. Yeah, you're doing a good job there. My accent's pretty, uh, pretty much erased myself. Yeah, me uh, too. I kind of lost my accent once back uh, a few years ago, and it never would come back. I actually had a guy accuse me of faking it, of sounding like he's, he asked me if I was from Pennsylvania. Where's that? No, uh, That's up north. Somewhere. It's right past Maryland. I have a question for the the uh, actually for you, Paulette, and for the viewers at home. What do people in the north do? I mean, people down here don't understand the north you know i've never been to the north what do they do up there I mean, they do art or they do you know uh, they play golf or it's like people on mars they do basically the same thing everywhere we're just all of us we're just a tribe of people all over the place and we all have like you know we drink too much and eat too much and have a bunch of babies <laughs> what do you think they do up there matt you've been up to yankee land a few times haven't you see I, i'm very i've got a very limited view of what's going on have you ever been up north? I have been up north. I've been to New York City many, many, many a time. Really? What did you do there? Played music. Played at the Knitting Factory. Uh, played at Maxwell's in uh, Hoboken. Played at CBGB's Gallery. With me. Uh, went to art openings. Acted like a real boho. In that Soho. I was a boho in Soho. Now, let's talk about art, because, I mean, that's sort of what this all started out being about. What, what is your view of art? You know, art can be anything. Art, art's everywhere, if you let it. You know, it's like uh, that skull over there. That's art. We'll have to insert a skull. It's a really small thing. Is it a good or for you? I talk to you that song, you guys. I'm evil. Uh, but, I mean, what makes that skull art and, uh, and, and Elvis art at the same time? I mean, how do you distinguish between... It's the perception of the individual. Ah. Art, is, art is, you know, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Right. I mean, it's like, for instance, is, is barbecue art? Only after you've eaten it.